We're gonna test out some masks today. We have some common face coverings that people use, right? We got the bandana. We got a light face mask, just a normal homemade face mask. We have the same type of mask here, except it has a nose bridge. A little bit of thicker mask, right? It's like double layered with a nose bridge. A surgical mask, a KN95, right? And then an N95 with a rest uh, with a vent on it, right? And then a half face respirator P100 rating also with a vent right in the front. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do two different types of tests. One is going to see if I can blow out candles with the mask on. And the second is going to be using this vape pen here, right? Just to see where the airflow kind of goes. Regular bandana. Basic cloth mask. Cloth mask with a nose bridge. Reinforced cloth mask. Surgical mask. KN95. N95 with vent. T100 respirator. After going through the test, it looks like K95 is the definite winner. The N95, the, the vent on the front, it serves as a one-way street on this. Yes, it protects you, but it doesn't protect others from what you're carrying. As you can see with the, the vape pin just going right through the vent, right? The surgical mask did not perform at all very well, but it's still a considered a, you know, a good mask um, to use. This would be one of the better homemade masks that we had. It's lightweight. It's easy to breathe through. It didn't, uh, weren't able to blow out the candle really or get it to move. This is a very thick mask, double layered. It has even a place for an insert in it, right? And this one's hard to breathe through. It does have a small nose bridge, but as you can see with that small nose bridge, we had the vape, uh, the vapor come out right from the nose, right up into the eyes. This mask did not perform very well, right? This was another cloth mask with a nose bridge, but I was able to definitely get the flame to play. And then with the bandana, you can see like we just blew out the candles, right? It barely did anything. And then the P100, it's also like the N95, very similar. It's very good at protecting you, but does not protect other people from what you are carrying. And that kind of sums up what we're talking about on masks. As you can see, there's all kinds of different types, but this is, this is the one I'm using. This is the one I'm going with, KN95. It's comfortable, lightweight, effective, form-fitting, all the above, cheap. It's a good mask, good quality right here.